Hello all, Shoestring here. I needed a new inverter for some sensitive equipment, so I decided I was going to get a pure sine wave. As some of you know, I like to use Harbor Freight equipment because it works really well. I decided to pick up a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter from Harbor Freight. I've never had one of their inverters before, but aside I'd go ahead and give it a try. I have just taken it out of the box, and we're going to see what's in there. It says it's 92% efficient. That's one of the reasons I did it. This is a 1,000 watt, so it says 2,000 peak. Also says it's pure sine wave, so we're going to find out about that, and we're going to see how well it works. But first, let's see what's in the box, shall we? So let's go ahead and open it up. I already cut it open. We have instruction manual. All right, sometimes I read them. Sometimes I don't. Type of cable. I guess it's for the remote, which is right there. I'm not sure I'm actually going to use a remote, but we'll find out. And let's see. And we have our actual inverter itself. Let's go ahead and get it up. Okay, it is quite heavy which is actually good. You want something that's well made. And heavy normally means it's fairly well made. Let's see what we have here. All right, so it's out of the box. And the plastic's off. It's got two 120 plug-ins. 60 hertz. I did mention this is a 12 volt inverter. I should have said that. And I um, don't recall I did. Okay. Uh, like I did say, it's a thousand watts. It's got an LED and of course the normal input and output levels. I hope the LED tells me what the um, voltage is of the battery, but I don't know it will till we start it front we have our normal the name of course thousand watt the symbol here showing this supposed to be a pure sine wave but we will find out of course we have connections to install it right in there if we want to use screws we have one over here I'll read the instructions but I suspect that might be for the ground I don't know yet back we have what two fans and a black and red connection and it says only use two gauge cable all right that's nice the back has the normal warnings don't touch it and put it in the water it'll blow you up you know the normal kind of stuff they put on these things all right so now that we have it out of the box and we've looked at it, we'll get some cables, hook it up to a battery, and we'll see how well it works. And I will report that information back to you guys. So if you like these type of videos and they're helpful, please of course subscribe, click that notification button, and like. Shoestring out.